In this video, I will guide you through a problem in Smith's Organic Chemistry. I'm Stoddard, founder of Study Chem, the place for students to turn for higher grades in OCHEM. Let's get started. Okay, hopefully you can do these types of problems quite well. Um, if you need to review substitution reactions, now would be the time to go back and review those. Um, what we're looking for is a halogen, which is generally speaking a good leaving group and that's going to be attached to an sp3 hybridized carbon, all right? If it's sp2 hybridized carbon, there's going to be no reaction, all right? So um, what's going to happen is locate your nucleophile and go ahead and substitute the halogen, leaving group, for your incoming nucleophile. So here we're going to get the following alcohol, okay? Butan 1 all carbon 1. Um, in this next example here, we have a chlorine, which is a leaving group. Not the best, but um, it will leave. All right. And again, you want to locate the carbon that's attached to that leaving group. It's sp3 hybridized. All right. So it can leave. This negative charge now will act as a nucleophile, attack the carbon atom, and kick off the leaving group. And what you'll get is the same number of carbons, and now attached to this carbon is going to be your OCH3 group. All right. So um, that's, an, that's an ether down here. All right. For this molecule, we have a primary alveol halide. It's a good um, react, react, reaction uh, between this type of substrate. Locate your um, leaving group. Iodine is one of the best leaving groups. Locate your carbon that's attached to the leaving group. It's sp3 hybridized, so that's good. This negative charge now can go ahead and attack that carbon, kick off the leaving group here, and what you're going to form as a result is the same organic number of carbons here. Okay, I just put my dot there to orientate us, and attached to that dot, we're going to have an OCH parenthesis CH2. So we're going to have an oxygen, a CH, and two CH3s. I'm going to go ahead and draw it as a stick figure so you can practice um, reading this kind of condensed molecular notation and draw out the isopropyl group. Okay. Down here we have an organic molecule. Uh, again, you want to identify the, um, the, the leaving group. Okay. Here's our halogen. Here's our carbon. It's sp3 hybridized once again. And we have an ethoxide that's going to attack that carbon and kick off the halogen. So what we'll get is the same branching over here at the, at the end of the molecule. And attached to this carbon here is going to be OCH2, CH3. Okay, I'll just rewrite exactly as it appears here. Okay, so um, that's how you do these problems. Please review substitution if um, you're, you're confused about which group is leaving and where does the incoming nucleophile attack and, and what do you get as a product. Thanks for watching. 